Welcome to video one of a three video series about setting up and configuring a Moxa UC8100 to run an InTouch Edge HMI IoT View project. My name is Chris Carlson with Logic, Wonderware Great Plains. Let's get started. This is the Moxa UC8100. On the front of the case are connections for the cell and GPS antennas, two Ethernet ports, LAN 1 corresponds to ETH 0 in the configuration. LAN 2 corresponds to ETH 1 in the configuration, which we'll see in a minute. On the top are connections for power and a 3-pin console connector. Comes with a console cable, so you can hook it up to your laptop. On the bottom are connections for RS-232 and RS-485 field devices. So now we've got our Moxa UC8100 powered up and I'm connected via the console cable, uh, the serial port on the unit. So we're going to use Hyper Terminal to go in and change the settings and get it on our network. So here's the console port settings. The default login is Moxa and Moxa. I'm going to switch to root so I can go in and edit some of the system files. First thing we're going to do is change the default IP addresses. Here's the default IPs. So for LAN 1, that corresponds to ETH0 in the configuration file. There's the default IP address. ETH1 which corresponds to LAN 2 on the physical case, is this IP address. So we're going to modify these addresses to match my local network. I'm also going to modify the host name. And I'm also going to resolve the name servers file. And it looks like we've got good name servers in there. I'm also going to set the time zone to my local time zone. I'm going to go ahead and reboot it now. verify that we can ping our default gateway and you do need to do it with sudo and we can ping to the outside world so the next thing we need to do to set up to accept the program uh, for IOT view is we need to enable the Apache web server We'll go ahead and become root again. And we'll verify the Apache's running. Looks like it's running correctly. 
So now we need to install a package that will give us our root CA certificates. So to push to Aviva Insight, it's a secured connection. So we need to make sure the root certificates are updated. I'm going to switch back to my regular user. At this point, I'm going to create a folder that will hold the IoT View program files. So now I'm back in the user's home folder. I like to call it IoT View and then the version that I'm putting in. So I'm going to use 8.1 Service Pack 3. Now I'm on my InTouch Edge machine, and I'm going to open a graphical SFTP client, and I'm going to push over the Bootstrap program onto the UC8100. And this will allow us to connect with InTouch Edge and push over the rest of the installation files. So you can see there's the folder that I created on the UC8100 in the last step. And we're going to browse to the installation folder for InTouch Edge. It's under the Redist folder, IoT View, Linux. And this is an ARM device, so we'll select the ARM folder. And then we're going to copy the remote agent over to the UC8100. So here I've got a console connection. So there's the folder that we created. And there's the remote agent. We need to make it executable. Now it's executable, we can run it. And this is what the command line will look like when it started successfully. So now let's run InTouch Edge HMI. Okay, now we're in InTouch Edge. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And we want to select the target to be an embedded InTouch Edge HMI. And this is going to be a pretty small project, so I'll just select the 500 tag embedded project. It's asking me for the security wizard, so I'll go ahead and create some logins. For IoT View, the only security mode available is local only, so you want to make sure that this is selected. Generally, I like to take away a lot of the permissions for the guest user. We'll create an administrators group. and we'll create an operators group. And next we'll create some users.
create one administrator and one operator. Okay, we've got security configured. On the home ribbon, hit the connect button and we'll get connected to our UC8100. So when we're connected successfully, this is the message we'll get in the status box. It's connected to the device, but it doesn't have IoT View installed yet. So the first thing we need to do is install the system files. Okay, so now that the system files are pushed across, we'll go back to the command line and run a quick install program. So I'm going to hit Control C to stop the remote agent and notice how the last line was updated with success for the install. So we need to run this install shell file as root. Once that's complete, we'll go ahead and reboot the UC8100, and then it's ready to accept our actual program files for IoT View, our specific project files. In part two, we'll create a simple InTouch Edge HMI project and get it running on the UC8100.